Okay, here's the update. As you can see, there's no fan motor. That's been taken out. All the hoses are out. The battery tray is out. The harmonic is... Uh, I'm trying to turn it back the other way, but it's not working. Uh, as you can see here, this is what I did in order to get the exhaust manifold bolts out. Worked very well. So all the bolts are out of the exhaust manifold, but the last one up against the firewall on that side. Uh, on this side, we still have a lot of work to do. I want to take out the fuel uh, pump and then the exhaust manifold on the passenger side and then the heads are coming out. And uh, the lifters are going to pretty much stay in for now because this is still acting like it has a compression stroke. I don't know why. There's no distributor in it and uh, it's out of whack. So I have to figure that out. But anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's about where we're at right now. There's the fan. There's the pulley. And uh, the radiator's in the front seat. And uh, a lot of the other parts are, well, here's some bolts over here. But they go to the fender, the time and chain cover, and the hood. Um, and uh, let's see, I think a couple other things, but they're all in one area. So that way they're not lost. Uh, the battery negative ground, which goes right here, is over there because it wasn't getting in. The, it was just getting in the way. Uh, these are the water pump bolts. Everything that I take out, I put back in, so that way there's no confusion as to what goes where and how many of them there are. Because sometimes when you're my age, you have a tendency to forget those things. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for the update. Uh, uh, that's as far as I'm going to get for this weekend. Um, it got really hot out earlier, and um, I lost my temper because... I was working on something for hours, and instead of something getting done, I just kept working at it and working at it and working at it to the point where I got aggravated. And I got so aggravated that I actually took a little transgression out on that. So now I got a dent to fix there. Uh, but anyway, it, that fender has to be fixed anyhow. The last person that had this car did not know how to fix the fender the proper way. And as a matter of fact, here, if you look down at the bottom, you can see it's all rippled. There's dents in it and everything else. And here's the funny thing that I found. There's actually, I don't know if you can see it well, but there's a pair of vice grips holding the fender in place. Rusty as hell. So... Until next weekend, that's the end of it for this one. I hope you all enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe because apparently I'm not going to get any exposure if you guys don't. YouTube wants you to do a thousand uh, subscribers before they give you any exposure, which is ridiculous. You know? All right. I got to go. Don't forget to hit the bell for post notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.